Hello, Doggers crew, and welcome back to another edition of Teacher Talks Dog Man. Hey, what do you think of our new intro? I know, it's pretty awesome. Shout out to Javen, that thing came out fantastic. By the way, we have other awesome ones too. The other uh, one that we have is by uh, Waris, who, um, I mean, boys, those are amazing, amazing intros, and I know a lot of you guys have been working on those too. All right, in today's video, we're going to talk about Dave Pilkey uh, being at Book Expo and Book Con, what that means, how you might be able to see him. You might be able to get one of your books signed by Dave Pilkey, the genius, right? Who's Dave Pilkey? Come on, Doggers crew, right? That's the author of Dogman and also some uh, other awesome books too. So in today's video, we'll dive into that. Also in our um, shout outs and comments section, I've got a whole bunch of thank yous, a whole bunch of kind comments. And also we have our second person who may get blocked from our channel. So we're going to discuss how to make a kind comment. We're going to discuss how you can share your opinion. And we're also going to discuss the importance of letting others share their opinion. So we're going to dive into all that awesomeness, guys. And then we are going to discuss our next video as well. So settle in, grab a seat. I know some of these get videos are getting a little bit long. I hope you're enjoying them. And let's dive right in. All right, Dave Pilkey, so first off the bat, let's talk about where this is going to be, what Book Expo is and what Book Con is, and how you might be able to do some more research on this if you live near this area. So first of all, Book Expo and Book Con are two different things that are held um, back to back. So for a couple days, they do Book Expo, and at the same location, they turn it into Book Con or Book Convention. So Book Expo is going to be more for like the authors and publishers and maybe the illustrators. So it's really not for us uh, fans out here. But then right after that is the book convention, which on my understanding is that that one is more for us fans. And that's when you can go in and actually meet Dave Pilkey, maybe get a book signed by him. Um, also, they're going to have the... Um, the musical, Dog Band the Musical, they're going to do a preview of that. We'll, we'll talk about all that too. So now here's the thing that we really need to think about though. Think about where you live and think about where this is. This is in New York, New York. So in the state of New York, in the city of New York. So if you live near New York City, hey, and you're a Doggers crew watching this, you might want to talk to mom and dad immediately about trying to get to this thing. And if you don't live anywhere near there, well, maybe this will just kind of be fun to see how it works. And I don't know how these book expos and conventions work as far as they move around the country or if they move to different countries, different states. I don't know how this works. So we could dive in and do some more research on that too. But let's look what they're going to have. So um, it says there's going to be an, a Dogman exclusive lithograph signing. And that is from 11 to 12 o'clock on Thursday. Now that is Thursday, uh, May 3rd. 30th I think something right around there so friends we're only talking about a week or two away here this is coming up really really fast so keep that in mind and then Saturday which I believe is like June 1st something around there is going to be Dogman the Musical preview on the downtown stage I mean that is amazing and then after that from three o'clock to four o'clock is Dave Pilkey signing at the Scholastic booth so and again I believe that's uh the majority of that's going to be the book con. So again, if you live in New York, New York, or anywhere near there, I would strongly suggest you talk to mom, dad, grandma, whoever it is you go home to at night, and see about maybe looking into that more. But uh, very, very cool. All right, guys. And if you wanted to, I'm right now on PD Haha, which uh, I'll pull down here. So that's on Dave Pilkey's Instagram account, and you can go on there and get some more information. They talk a little bit more about this and how you could dive into it if you live in that area. I know that most of us don't, so we'll just kind of stand back and have some fun with it. Okay, guys, I'm not going to use any more time. We're going to get straight to our comments and our questions and our kindness that I absolutely love. We'll talk about our next video at the end and also towards the middle end of the comments. We're going to have a big conversation, so don't fast forward through that part. We're going to talk about how one of our viewers is really going to have to think about how they are expressing their opinions and their opinions about others comments so let's dive right in 
Okay guys, the very first comment, I'm gonna try to do this from now on, I pinned a comment, which means it goes to the top, and that's basically me, and I'm showing you some different places that you can buy some of these books, or at least shop for them. Please, please understand that if you're gonna to go to these links, you can go see the books and kind of learn about the different books like Dogman 7, Dogman 8 that are coming out. But please, please, you may not purchase them without talking to mom, dad, grandma, that kind of stuff. So be smart about that. All right, let's keep moving on here. So our first comment is Reagan Kennedy saying, I'm part of the Doggers crew. Yes, you are part of the Doggers crew. You betcha. Uh, let's move on to Javen saying, Warris's intro is awesome too. How do you guys feel about these intros? They are so cool. I absolutely love them. Nice job, guys. Okay, Reagan saying, uh, can you show me a tour of your house? Uh, no, I'm not going to do a tour of the house. And don't forget, Reagan, I, I really want this channel to be more about the content and what our discussions are and less about um, teacher talks, you know, like myself. So no, probably not. But you know what I did do in one of my videos? You can go look on teacher talks. And I did do an office tour. So if you wanted to, you could check out that video. All right. And we have, um, I would like a YouTube channel tutorial and you to try out Captain Underpants game. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Those are really good suggestions. I like that. So um, that's Jordan Webb saying that um, a, a YouTube uh, tutorial. So over summer, I was thinking about putting together some videos and showing students who are trying to make their own YouTube channels, just giving you guys some little tips and tricks on how to kind of go from good to great with, with doing that. Now, don't forget the YouTube channels and making your own channel. Well, you definitely have to talk to mom and dad and be on the same page. And I want them to understand what you're putting on your channels. It's really important. So I, I agree with you, Jordan Webb. And I'll tell you what, I do want to do a couple more videos on the um, Dogman, um, Captain Underpants. Uh, what am I starting to say here? The Planet Pilkey uh, little video game app and some on Dogman. And then after that, let's do some on Captain Underpants. Okay, does that sound good? All right, let's do it. And Alikio Hero saying, oh my goodness. Uh, these quizzes are so good. Oh, yay. I'm glad you had fun with it. Uh, too bad they only give you a, a dollar. I know. Isn't that funny? Oh, well. We're not here for the money. We're here for the fun. Um, very cool. And he's saying how much he enjoys those um, those intros. Very, very cool. All right. James, the really splendid engine says, I like Dogman books. By the way, there is two Dogman books that are different from Dogman is a comic book. And there's an audio book. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know, but I will dive in, and if I see some books that look, uh, I don't know, some alternative Dogman books, we'll definitely get them going. Hey, I forgot to give out some hearts and thumbs up. Let's back up a step, and let's take care of that business. All right. Here is Animal World. Good to hear from you, Animal World, saying thank you for another awesome video. You are welcome. Also, once again, my channel is up and running, and I'm going to give uh, you a shout-out. That's cool, and I will definitely watch it. So, guys, let me stop there for a second and kind of give you a little bit of a warning. So... You can't promote your own channel on here. In other words, if you put a comment that says, hey, come see my channel, YouTube blocks that comment. It's not me blocking them. YouTube doesn't want you guys doing that. And if you, especially if you put like, hey, come see my channel, and if you put a link in there, YouTube blocks that stuff. So I don't see it. It's not me taking them off. But uh, yeah, you can't do that. Now, if you've been working hard and you say, hey, I just posted a bunch of videos, um, on Dogman, maybe you guys want to check them out. I, I think you could kind of say it and word it that way, but um, especially not the links. And I'll, I'll, I'll look into that a little bit more and see what we can and cannot say. All right, here's Wanley Wan uh, Kindly Can saying, in the intro of Warris's said take quizzes. I know, isn't that awesome? So we did do a quiz before that. And also, if you really look at Warris's intro and you look at it closely, everything he put in there is little snippets of things that we have done in prior videos. So you know where like the bag goes on top and it says alternative covers, right? Little play on words. Well, we looked at the alternative covers to different Dogman books. And if you haven't seen those, you should go watch those videos. They're over on Teacher's Talks. And those videos are some of the best ones I've ever made. So you should go check them out. All right, very cool. Here's Mr. Pig saying, Teacher Talks Dogman, please watch the Dogman video I made. Uh, do not watch until now. I shout out, please. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. I will go check out your stuff, Mr. Pig. Um, but again, be a little bit careful, self-promoting, and also, um, well, I don't know. You're asking for a shout out, but I know you're always on here uh, working hard, so you'll get a shout out. Okay, Juan Luan Kindly KN says, I got everything but the number four right. Good for you. And you know what? Taking quizzes and stuff like this 
It's never about being perfect and like getting 100%. I mean, that's great if you did. Just do your best, do your best, and forget the rest. Okay, who liked my intro? This is fun. Here's Javen getting seven thumbs up. He should have like 700 thumbs up in my opinion. But anyway, Alikio says, I did, and it's an awesome and brilliant. I agree. And Juan Lee saying, I did. <clears throat> Teacher Talks coming in here with uh, awesome intro. Oh, I'll give myself a heart. Oh, that's fun. All right, here's Juan Lee saying that. Teacher Talks dog man uh, for Javen. Very cool. And Patricia saying, everybody liked it. I know, it's such a good one. Dean YouTube saying, I am Javen's friend, Dean. Oh, that's funny. I like that. That's a good name. Here's Javen saying, uh, Dean, hi. Do you know my, do you like my intro? <laughs> Here's Dean saying, Javen, I did. It is awesome. I don't know if those are both Javen there or what, but I think that's funny either way. Okay, Teach Dog's Dog, man. Thank you. Um, you bet, man. Javen, you're a hardworking kid. And Reagan Kennedy saying, uh, YouTube brilliant. Yep, you're right. Javen is. And yes, I liked the intro, says Patricia. And Cassandra Keel says, I really liked it. And finally, Reagan says, uh, Javen, YouTube, I did. Okay, cool. All right, let me give out a few hearts, and then we'll back up a step. Whoops. All right. So let's keep moving on. FNAF fan says, yeah, long video. Well, you know, guys, let me know. I feel like some of the videos are getting too long, but I don't know if you guys like that or if you'd rather keep me keep them short. So I might make that a poll question coming up soon is, would you rather have the videos like seven minutes long, 15 minutes long, or 25 minutes long, and then I can try to adjust them. But especially if you guys like these shout outs at the end, it kind of makes the videos long, but I think it's really fun too. All right, here we go. Ultimate Fire Dragon says, Teach Talks, I have that one. I have that the for showing. Oh, all right, cool. Here's X Gamer 2000 say, Teacher Talks, uh, what are you up to this summer? Hey, that's a great question. You know, I have a family, so we got five people in my family, right? And three kiddos. So we're going to do all kinds of fun stuff. And I was thinking it would be really exciting to maybe make some videos about our adventures and places we go and how we're going to incorporate like some fun, right? Summer should be fun. Some fun ways to fold in that reading into your summer fun. So anyway, I'll dive more into that in some other videos, but thanks for asking. That's really kind. Cassandra says, um, are you going to be give, doing giveaways of the Dogman material? You know, Cass Cassandra Keels, that is a great question. Friends, I have like a whole bookshelf and a half of Dogman stuff, Dogman books. I've got like five of just Dogman Brawl the Wild. I have all kinds of Dogman stuff, but YouTube is a little bit tricky on giving stuff away, like giveaways. So I need to be smart about that, and I need to do a little bit of research on that. But my plan is to get most of that stuff into your guys' hands in the future. But I still I have to figure out some details on that. Maybe that can be on my list of things to do this summer. Here's Skeleton uh, Fun saying, I have Planet Pilkey. Very cool, and that is really fun. So if you have not gone on there yet, Planet Pilkey that I've been showing in the last couple of videos is really fun. I did the quiz on Planet Pilkey and I got all the answers right. It says, Javen, nice job. And that doesn't surprise me. Javen is, sounds to be like a very, very hardworking student. And here's Reagan saying, Javen, well done. And uh, Javen coming back with a thank you. I love the kindness. You know, you guys are really, really doing a great job with that. It's just, it's so much more fun to be nice and kind, right? Especially on the internet because a lot of people think that you can say what you want, but your words are powerful. And if you say something mean, it's powerful. And if you say something nice, it's powerful. So keep that in mind. Okay, Javen saying, um, I'm working on a video on how to make a profile picture. Sorry for the late post. And I did see that, Javen, and maybe we can talk about that in a future video. But um, And Javen did put a link here to it for his um, alternative one. And it did see, seem to show up. So I'm glad that that did show up and you guys can go back and check that out. But um, keep in mind, when you put links on there, a lot of times uh, YouTube flags them and basically doesn't show them. All right, Cassandra Kielsing, I agree with FNFA fan. Great video and sorry for your lost horror viewer. And yeah, you know, if you guys uh, watched the last comment, last video, you saw a comment in there from horror viewer. And um, he may or may not be watching this video. Um, it looks like he watched the last one though. But um, anyway, you know, life, is funny life is tricky life is tough sometimes and life honestly is really really hard sometimes and he's going through something right now that's 
Not easy at all. So our thoughts go out to you, horror reviewer. Hope your family's doing well there with the Lost Your Uncle. Okay, Patricia says, um, hashtag... Okay, I'll have to check out that hashtag. I haven't seen it before, so let me dive in before we get to that. Patricia, one they want saying yesterday, 523.19 was my last day of school. You're already out of school? No way, Juan Well, congratulations to you. Have fun at your start of summer. I still have a couple weeks left, and I think most most students probably still have a couple weeks left. But uh, congratulations to you, man. You made it through another year. Yeah. Ultimate Fire Dragon says, I tested all of them. The one I, I tested all of them. <clears throat> I1 of Unleashed is flat PB. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. And here's Javen on his Spanish channel coming in with. Have you seen my name? It's called Javen Espanol. This is Javen typing this. Yep. Very cool, Javen. Oh, look at that. And Juan Lee Juan and Javen. It looks like they're having a bit of a conversation there in Spanish. That's really cool. Nice job, boys. Okay. Uh, Reagan Kennedy saying, I got the app. Very cool. Reagan Kennedy saying amazing and also saying uh, like the outro. Very cool. And I, I like the outro too. And I know you guys have been working really hard on this stuff. Okay, Mr. Pig says in McDonald's they should have uh, put Dogman toys. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I'm not a huge do uh, uh, McDonald's fan. I feel like that's like a food that you should have as a treat once in a while. But um, I don't know. I guess that would be cool. If you're going to have toys, it might as well be Dogman, right? And uh, Wanli Wan saying, Javen is my friend on Roblox. Oh, that's super cool. And Reagan Kennedy saying, um, more on Captain Underpants. Oh, move on to Captain Underpants. <clears throat> now, don't forget, Captain Underpants is on which channel, right? That's over on Teacher Talks. So this channel is only Dogman. So make sure you're subscribing. If you want to see things other than Dogman, make sure you're subscribing to both Teacher Talks and Teacher Talks Dogman. So make sure you subscribe to both. By the way, if you look in the description of this video, I'll put on there how you can subscribe to both channels. I'll make it easy for you. Okay, Animal World saying, um, he only does Dogman, right? And you guys are just confirming what I just said. So just be be careful, right? If you're on Teacher Talks Dogman, all you're gonna see is Dogman. So enjoy. Okay, Javen says, what are the, well, oh, this is really fun of him. Okay, what is Teacher Talks be Dogman best at? A, best YouTuber. B, best teacher. C, all of the above. That's Really fun, Javen. All right. Ah, oh, look at all you guys with your kind comments saying, see, oh, I really appreciate it, guys. That's really, really cool. That's really fun of you guys. And uh, definitely appreciated. You know, I feel like I love teaching, whether it's on YouTube or in my classroom. And believe it or not, I mean, we're kind of doing a little bit of teaching here as far as like how to do things and how to have some fun conversations about how to be kind and learn about Dogman and all this kind of stuff. So I think it's really, really cool. Thanks, Javen. That's a, that's a fun way to put a comment together there. All right, Mario um, Mario Pantoja says, hi, guys. Oh, hi. How's it going? Adrian Lego Cool saying, hi, at school. We did not learn that much. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I feel like at school there's certain days where you really learn a lot. And there's certain days maybe where there was a lot going on and there wasn't as much. But uh, anyway, here's Recorder um, Kid and the Daily Uploads. I got all the questions right for Dogman. Very, very cool. Nice. And yes, I am going to move a little bit on to Captain Underpants as well. And he's saying how much he enjoys that I'm reading the comments. Very, very cool. And here's FNFA fan saying, uh, do the quizzes again. This is so much fun to watch. All right, I think I am going to do a little bit more of the quizzes. In fact, how about this weekend if I make Dogman Lord of the Fleas? And we'll do the quiz to that too. Does that sound like fun? Okay, hi, Teacher Talks. This um, isn't about either of the 10 books. So this is a Phoebe Lever coming in saying, I noticed that when Captain Underpants series ended with book 12, Dave Pilkey had already made a couple of Dogman books sprinkled into the Captain Underpants series. Yeah, you're right. You know, at the end of some of the Captain Underpants books, there are some little shorts is what they call them, like little short um, comics, um, like Tongue of Justice and, ooh, there's another one too. And you know, it might be really fun for me to read those to you guys and put it on the channel. So if you like that, put a comment about that uh, down below. Yeah, and Super Diaper uh, Babies uh, as well. Okay, guys, now we're going to get to some uh, a little bit tougher of a conversation here. So let's jump over and take a look at this. Okay, guys, so this is a bit of a conversation that Mr. Pig, uh, who's a dogger, by the way, and has made some awesome, kind comments in past, but he's having a conversation with Javen. 
And in my previous video, Mr. Pig said that uh, teacher talks that I don't rule. And you know what? That hurts my feelings a tiny little bit. It really does, actually. However, you're entitled to your opinion, right, Mr. Pig? So that's okay to say, but I don't know. A comment like that, I feel like it's not doing anyone any good. All it does is kind of hurt, right? And I can see you kind of hurt Javen a little bit, and it kind of hurts my feelings too a little bit. But um, So anyway, here's the conversation I'm having. Mr. Pig uh, replied, Javen, um, he, meaning teacher talks, does not rule. And then he kind of shows like a mean face. And then he says, delete your comment, your root. So that is Mr. Pig saying to Javen to delete his comment that he's rude. And that, Mr. Pig, I am not okay with. That is not all right to do. So I'm not mad at you, but let's discuss this and let's talk about it. So you're entitled to your opinion, right? You're entitled to the things that you like better than other people or differently than other people. And it's okay to express that and talk about that. But it's not okay to start telling other people how they should be thinking or how they should be feeling and telling them, hey, you need to change how you're doing things. So let's be a little bit careful with this conversation here. So um, again, I think it's okay if you and Javen kind of disagree on this one, but telling Javen that um, he doesn't, or telling Javen that he needs to delete his comment and kind of showing those emojis that really show that you're mad, that's definitely not a great way to show that you're expressing your opinion and you're letting others express their opinion. So just like you're saying, I don't rule. It hurts my feelings a little bit, but look, I'm not mad at you. I'm really not. I truly am not. And why is that? Because you're allowed your opinion and I'm allowed mine, but it needs to be done in a friendly, kind way. All right, Mr. Pig. So I appreciate you understanding that. And I hope you stay on uh, our doggers crew here. And I think you will, but be careful with those comments. Okay. You can say how you feel about things in a kind way, but let others say how they feel. And we shouldn't be saying comments, especially not mean comments towards them. Okay, guys, I hope that kind of clears it up. So, Mr. Pig, we're going to give you a second chance here. But please, please be careful with those comments. And we'll move forward from here. I'm confident, though, that you're going to kind of make that little adjustment you need to go really into kindness. All right, friends, with no further ado, are you ready for our outros? Let's do it. Ready, set, 